So today we're going to be learning how to add some pagination into our listings. So if you don't know what pagination means, pagination is basically useful when we have loads of data in long lists. Uh, it take, it's too slow to load everything uh, immediately. So with pagination, you get these nice next and back buttons, essentially. So what we're going to do is that we're going to install a plugin. Uh, the plugin is going to be called List Shifter. Okay, it's a really powerful plugin uh, by Keith. And uh, what this lets us do, it, ha it has loads and loads of features. Okay, so let's just put it over here somewhere. Make it one pixel by one pixel. Uh, one, one. Okay, very tiny, tiny little plugin. Okay, so uh, the data is going to be listings. The list to shift is going to be search for listings. To find that, you can use this here. So we're going to shift this list. And now we're going to have some items per page. Uh, let's make it four. And that should be good. Let me, so in our data source for the repeating group, instead of uh, the do a search for, we'll just use the list shifters output shifted list. Okay, so let's click preview and see what it has, see how it looks. See, we only have four uh, elements here. So what we're gonna do now is that we're gonna add some buttons. Okay, two buttons, next and back buttons. Uh, they're gonna be uh, one, Okay, so we want them in a row. So we're gonna let me just reduce the size of this guy. Okay, so we want them in a row. Let's just select both of them and group them in a row fashion. Okay, so in a row, we've grouped them. Let's stretch the whole row and uh, right align these. The height should be uh, 50 should be fine. And no, stretch this, but these individually should be vertically aligned. And let's add a bit of margin on the right and some more margin on the right. Okay, so we have little buttons. We'll make them primary light. And one will be next, one will be back. So in next, uh, the workflow is going to be show next page of list shifter. And uh, let's just wrap around as well and back is going to be back uh, list shifter what is it uh, go previous page not back okay and wrap around as well so let's click preview and see how it looks yay oh not that button uh, i meant to press a different shortcut yay we have pagination Okay, so we can display just four at a time and uh, the last page, it does wrap around and we can go back. Yeah, okay. So what this does is on page load, it's just going to be way faster uh, because we're only loading four at a time. Uh, previously, we were loading uh, all nine at a time, uh, whatever. It, it, this list can grow into hundreds and hundreds, uh, but in our marketplace, now we're just going to show four at a time. And if you just want to change it to just show maybe eight at a time, but depending on our design, uh, we can just change the, where's the page size? Yep, here's the items per page, show eight at a time. And I'll just do it. See, nice and easy. All right, thank you very much. And uh, let me know in the comments below if uh, you have a better way or uh, any suggestions for future tutorials. Thanks. Bye.